This is all pure cork. It's amazing. Pure cork. The south of Portugal is getting more and more popular. The ocean is nice and calm, the water temperature may be a little bit on the cool side, but the beaches, the beaches are amazing. Besides being the most western capital in Europe and the one with the longest bridge in Europe and being the only one on the Atlantic coast, this place has also an amazing history. Just imagine, in 15th and 16th century, in the time of Age of Discoveries, this was where it all started.
this is the Portugal version of Stonehenge. The only difference is, this place is about 2,000 years older. Can you imagine? 2,000 years older. And they've been using this place for about 3,000 years. What will we be using for 3,000 years? It's amazing. And the best thing is, it's out here in the nature, surrounded by the cork tree forest, no fence, no guard, no entrance fee, like it was meant to be. used to be just a small, simple, quiet little countryside town between Lisbon and Porto. Then, in 1917, mysterious events witnessed by three small shepherd children transformed this into something special. This river flows through one of the oldest vineyards in the world. And they've used it to transport the wine on this bank of the river. Here, they've put it in the wine cellars, where it changed into this beautiful, sweet and famous port wine. So this bank of the river is pretty good. But on the other side, well, on the other side, you can find one of the most picturesque most charming and most beautiful places in Portugal. 